So this is a very different video. Um, but I super encourage you guys to watch this. I'm going to keep it as short as possible, but I think that it's very important to be, um, to be educated on this subject. Um, first, I'm just gonna tell you my story. Being a person of color in America, it's not, you know, it's not just a couple people who are experiencing it, it's all of us. Um, I have been yelled at in a store because people thought I was stealing. Um, I was at, I was at a, a place called Main Event. Um, you guys might have heard of it. It's like a bowling place. They also have an arcade, um, stuff like that. And I was, you know, I was in the arcade and I, I noticed that there was a family and they were purposely, they were, they were walking as far away from me as possible when I was playing a game and they had a daughter. They, they seemed to be shielding their daughter, like basically trying to walk between her and me, like looking at me, I was turned away. I was playing a game. I was playing an arcade game and they would, they were literally doing this to, to their daughter while walking past me. And then when I went and cashed in my tickets, I was, I was standing there with two pieces of candy in my hand. I was looking at the shelf to see what I could get with the amount of points that I won on the games. And I just hear someone yell behind me, really? Right, I, I turn my head and they, um, the dad looks directly at me. They say, really, you're gonna steal something from the candy store. And then just walks out. And I, I realized that this story isn't significant. It isn't something that, you know, is even close to as bad as stuff that's happening now. But I wanted to share it because I know that it could have ended so much differently. I was 14. I looked like this. And already I'm seen as a threat to these people. Right? That does not make any sense. Um, in terms of the, the system, I'm just going to talk about the police force for a bit. Um, people, people always say, oh, it's just like a person to person issue, right? Some people are just raised differently and it's terrible, but it's just how they're raised. You can't really do much about it. But I disagree. The system is the root cause of it. If you look at the amount of training that most police officers receive, then you'll see that 10 hours of, of conflict de-escalation training is, is what, what many receive, 10 hours. And then they receive over 110 hours of firearm training. That's 11 times as much firearm training as de-escalation training. That puts an idea in their, in police officer's head, whether they act on it or not. Because I, I realize that there's, that most police officers are, are great. But the system puts an idea in all of their head that violence can be used uh, like violence is their friend, right? Violence can be used by them to get what they want. Violence can be used to threaten someone. Violence can be used to get someone to get into the cop car. So violence can be used even if they are willing to get into the cop car. Like George Floyd, literally the, co the cop that was sitting on his neck with his knee in his neck, the officer said, are you going to get into the car? George Floyd said, I will. Stop choking me, I can't breathe. The cop didn't budge. The cop wasn't threatened, he had his hands in his pockets. In his brain, he knew that he could use violence 
to his advantage. And that is not something that was taught to them at an early age. That was taught by the police system, whether indirectly with the amount of training that they, that they get in different areas, or even directly, you can find videos of, of, um, of lectures where people literally will tell police officers, use violence as your friend. Violence is your friend, right? You can find videos where people are saying that to hundreds of police officers. And these people aren't just little people in society that are, you know, that are going to do this, like maybe speaking out one or two. No, these are world-renowned people who speak at hundreds of conferences. And they tell police officers that violence is their friend. That is the ideolo ideology that killed, that kills black people in this country. That violence is their friend. And even after they're killed, the justice system is not, like, they just, nothing happens, <laughs> really. Um, the only reason why the officers that killed George Floyd, the only reason why they're getting justice is because is because of the protests, is because of the outrage. If none of that happened, if the video wasn't surfaced, right? If people didn't watch the video, and if people weren't outraged by the video and acted because of the video, those officers would have been able to go to work the next week like nothing happened. And we've seen it over and over again. There was someone in Austin that was killed a couple months ago by a police officer. Innocent person. I believe he was unarmed. Killed, shot by a police officer. That police officer had killed an innocent person the year before. Got off with nothing, like nothing happened. Not even suspended, not fired, not tried, nothing. Killed an innocent person. A year later, did the exact same thing, and the same thing happened. That officer wasn't suspended. That officer wasn't fired. And he definitely was not tried for anything. He showed up to work the next day like nothing happened. Like it's just part of your job. It's not part of your job to kill innocent people in the country. That is not part of a police officer's job. A police officer's job is to keep the community safe, not to be the problem in it. And I know that not all police officers are like that, but just because not all are like that does not mean that there's no issue. It, like, the system is the part that is not, that needs to be fixed. And I know that it's not a new issue. It's been going on for centuries in this country. And the only reason why it's being super acted on right now is because it's been exposed. Not because there's more of it. Just because the, the stuff that's happening is getting exposed. I don't want to be scared to buy Skittles from a store. I should be able to buy Skittles from a store and not worry about being shot by a police officer. I should be able to jog in my neighborhood and not be worried that someone will shoot me. And even if someone does, I shouldn't have to worry that those people wouldn't get arrested for months. In terms of, I, I want to speak on the, the, um, the slogan of all lives matter because I get it, but it's not right. I, I like to use the analogy because I saw this on Instagram where if someone's house is burning, 
You don't hold up the hose, you put the fire out. You don't hold up the hose claiming that all houses matter. You put out the fire because right now that house matters. Put out the fire and then we can get to your broken faucet. And then we can get to your broken ceiling fan. And then we can get to your, um, your, the light bulb in your bathroom that isn't working, right? But right now, that house matters. If your house was on fire, then your house would matter too. But right now, your house is completely fine. But this house matters. It's a given that all life, like all life matters, yes. All lives matter, yes. But the reason why we have to come out and say that black lives matter is because they haven't. For centuries, black lives haven't mattered. Whether that's to normal citizens, whether that's to different people in, the, in power, whether that's to police, right? Black lives haven't mattered and they need to. And that is why we say black lives matter. It's not saying, oh, black lives matter and no one else does because that's like every life matters. But right now, black lives don't matter and they need to. Like the house is burning, fix it. Don't hold up the hose saying that all houses matter. Put out the fire and then we can focus on other issues. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for uh, watching this video. Hopefully you made it to the end. Um, if you did, thank you so much for just being educated on the subject um, because it's, it's definitely a subject that needs to be addressed. And, um, and it's being more addressed, which is awesome. But, you know, everyone should be at least educated. Even if you don't go out and rally and protest, I'm not expecting people to do that. But ignoring the fire isn't going to put it out. Just being like, oh yeah, there's a fire. That's awful. I'm going to go on with my life. No, you have to at least do something. Even if you get a small cup of water and throw it on, enough cups and that fire can be put out. I'm not asking you to show up with a fire hose, but even just a cup helps. That cup is sharing it on social media, getting educated on the subject, donating, right? All of those things contribute cups of water and with enough cups, then we can put out the fire. Anyways, I'm going to be uploading a, you know, more lighthearted, fun video. Um, it's going to be a ranking video, and that's going to be up this weekend. But I really just needed to get this video out. Um, because as a person of color in America, it's something that affects my life. And I need to speak about it. Anyways, peace out.